Here's the pattern that I used to create the beer mug. The pattern is 3D printed and at the top of the beer mug shape you'll see that there's another couple of inches added on. And the reason for this is that it will create an impression in the sand which can then hold the core. If that doesn't make sense you'll see what I mean here later on. And the boxes that I'm using for this casting uh, aren't your typical boxes. They've been modified so that the casting can be done on end rather than flat side down. And the reason for this is that the core that's required to make the beer mug um, is too long to support itself, so it must be lifted up again on end so that it does not crumble in the mold. Uh, what I'm doing right now is not just finding the alignment with the sprue and the vent hole. Uh, the silver is the sprue which I'll be pouring the molten aluminum into, and the copper pipe is the vent hole. So here I'm adding talcum powder, or just baby powder, which will help the pattern separate from the sand mold. Straining the sand that's in direct contact with the pattern helps uh, get a better surface finish on the final casting. And the sand that I'm using is Petrobon oil bonded green sand. Uh, you can get this for about $60 for 30 pounds on Amazon. And it's really good sand. It's got good strength and it rarely dries out. I add an eighth inch sheet of plywood on top of the casting boxes to stop uh, the sides from blowing out whenever I pour in the molten aluminum. I've had issues with the sides crumbling and aluminum leaking out as well as the sides bowing out and ruining the cast. I add the top half of the mold and repeat the same process. Tapping on the pattern half before you pull the pattern out of the mold vibrates the pattern and helps it release from the mold. Here you can see I had a little bit of the mold crumbling, uh, but most of that just occurred in the core area, so I wasn't too worried. And this is the mold that I used to make the core. When you think about the shape of a beer mug, uh, having the cavity in the middle of the mug which holds the liquid as well as having a handle um, you really can't create the casting without the use of a core Here I am adding the core to the mold itself. This is a process that you have to be really careful when doing. Um, if you're not, then the core won't be perfectly aligned and the cup center will be kind of tilted. And since I'm casting with the box on end, I have box cutouts that will keep the wood from getting burnt whenever I pour in the aluminum. And here you see me charging the crucible. I use a steel crucible and my forge is a five gallon paint tin that is lined with KO wool and fire brick. Uh, this has worked really well for me. Um, I can get a full crucible melted within about 10 minutes of starting the forge. So here I just added a flux and now I'm scraping off the dross. 
Um, adding a flux helps all the impurities that are in the aluminum separate, which can then be skimmed off the top. When you pour the aluminum, you want one smooth, constant flow. This will keep air bubbles from mixing in the aluminum and getting trapped in the casting. I probably should have waited a little bit longer until I broke open this mold, but I'm really impatient, and as a result, the beer mug was really hot. Around the handle area you can see how it filled in and this is just because the pressure of the aluminum in the mold separated the two halves and allowed it to leak in between the two halves. Um, like I was saying, the plywood that I add on the sides helps uh, but it doesn't solve all issues. And around this time my camera died, so I don't have any more footage of cleaning up the cast. But really all you're missing is a bunch of filing and then wire brushing. And here's the final product once it's been shined up with a wire wheel. Um, I'm decently happy with how this came out. It's a good project. I plan on making more of these in the future. Uh, using cores is always a challenge, but it's a lot of fun as well. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, um, just leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks.